Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Terry. And we're Escaping, Escaping the, the Empty Nest. Nest. Welcome back. We've had a great time recapping our first trip to Boston for y'all over the past few months. If you're planning a trip to New England, please check out the playlist linked below for more content. A visit to New York isn't complete without a trip to one of the five massively popular observation decks. But while we researched a trip to Boston, we never saw any information about observation decks at all. That's because there just aren't that many options in Boston. They used to have the John Hancock Building observation deck, but it shut its doors to tourists in 2001 as a response to 9-11. There's Skywalk Observatory at Prudential Tower, but it's been closed indefinitely for renovations and it's unknown when it will reopen. We found information about the observation deck at Independence Wharf and we were surprised to learn it's completely free. It's located right off the main harbor. One of the most recognizable things you can spot from the deck is the recreation of Dartmouth. That's the most famous of the ships involved in the Boston Tea Party. When you arrive at Independence Wharf, check in with the security and provide an ID and they'll direct you to the elevators that take you right to the 14th floor. After visiting Top of the Rock in New York, nobody is going to think that the 14th floor is a dizzying height, but it was enough to get a nice overview of the harbor and that part of the city. There are also limited views looking back at downtown Boston. If you are wanting something free and interesting, it's certainly worth checking out. You can be in and out in 15 minutes if you are in the area seeing the Boston Tea Party Museum, or if you just happen to be at South Station, which is a large subway and Amtrak hub. We stopped by there on the way to Fenway Park because we had to be at South Station anyway. Maybe the next time we're in Boston, the Prudential Observation Deck will be open and we'll try that. If Prudential and Hancock eventually open to tourists again, Independence Wharf is the only one of the three near the water in downtown. So there will always be a reason to visit this one. So that wraps up this trip to Boston. Our next series will be covering our trip all over Europe, which we are obviously very excited about. If you subscribe, you'll be right there with us for every step in the adventure. Thanks for watching and bye, bye for now. now.